Hey everybody, welcome back to Thumb FPV. Now, I apologize for this awkward, weird shooting angle for the film, but it's only the intro and my kitchen light is having an issue with my camera. Something with the sodium discharge. Anyway, we are going to talk about the new Luban 3.14.0 forward slash new firmware update today and exactly what it does and what it means for you. Check this out. So here we are, and as I said in the intro to this, up here at the top left-hand corner, you can see we have Snapmaker Luban 3.14.0 forward slash new. This is for the A350, but I'm pretty sure it is across the board for all of these. So whatever happens to one, it's going to happen to the other. Now, as of right now, we are in the main menu. This is the... 3D printing layout right here. Our tools, everything over here. Uh, first thing I'm going to jump into is saying that not a whole lot has changed initially as far as the look. A few things, but not a lot. Um, in settings, though, right here, you have your customization tab. Uh, I don't know if this is popping up or not. My computer has a problem with that sometimes but in this tab you can select your filament type your PLA ABS nylon TPU whatever it is that you want to use now if you see I'm gonna leave it on PLA exit out right now you cannot change any of these settings that you have established ABS can't do anything with that either Still cannot change the original two, but you can change them outside of that. So, as far as being able to manipulate any of the original settings, that's still not a thing. Um, in order to add a filament type, you do still have to go in to this tab here. You have to go into settings. You have to select exactly what it is that you want to utilize. And then you have to export it. I'm sorry, I did not say that. I did export. You have to copy it. You have to make a copy of it because that's just how it is. You can't do it in the main menu anymore. So we're going to exit this, close, come back out here to the main menu, drop down. One thing I do like is that they have switched up the print settings a little bit. And this is neat. So instead of having these two in a drop down menu with these to follow, what they've done is given us two tabs. You have your recommended settings and we have our customized settings now. Recommended is set in stone. You're not going to be able to do anything with it. Customized tab, yeah, blah, 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 go ahead. So in your recommended, you have your fast print, your normal, and your high quality. Customizable, you also have fast print, normal, and high quality now, in addition to also having the A350 normal, high quality, and fast print profiles as well. So they've given us a couple of different options on that. Um, generate G code, let's see, uh, everything down here still looks to be the same. You still generate, you can still pick your code type, um, you can export the models. Load to workspace, export. Okay. Not a whole lot has changed there. Um, what they have done over here in the main menu is given us a support tab. And you can have your support size. It's 5 by 5. They've also given it to us in coordinate axes. So you can do it with your X and your Y. I don't know why they left Z out. If you had an overhang that you wanted to support, that would have came in extremely handy. Maybe it's something they're still working on. I don't know. Um, you can add support. You get done, whatever, if you're happy with what you've selected. Or you can get rid of the support altogether. As far as rotate, 
everything still looks to be the same scaling still has the three axes you can make it larger smaller whatever 100 percent and they are uh see uniform scaling so should be able to change one yes you can change one now oh come on without the other so if you wanted to you know make it twice as high you could put your Z up to 200% and still leave everything else the same as far as a profile would go and you would be able to make that change super helpful I like that I'm gonna put that back to where it was okay so select this we're gonna go to move move still looks to be the same as well okay we're gonna pan over real quick to the laser engraver tab now what they have given us and this is new and I like this is a fourth axis so <laughs> what all does this entail we're not going to get into that right now I'm just giving you a preview of what the update is this is new you have your pi times your dimension blah blah blah, blah. Uh, there, there was a lot of new settings in here so we are literally working on four axis for our laser engraver now which is great they're starting to utilize a lot more features in this and that's a good thing so without getting too lost in that because I really have a big thing that I'm trying to lead up to for you guys let's go to our CNC tab so our CNC tab this is an alpha feature that helps you get started with CNC carving make sure you read this first safety information before proceeding I'm not gonna hit don't show again because this is a brand new update and I have not went into that but let's just take a quick real look a real quick look at this and see what pops up read the safety information first okay again this kind of looks like a basic overview of what we went through with the initial setup of the snap maker operating environment direct sunlight rain moisture liquids I some people I just can't with there's 3d printing manuals over here general frequently asked questions CNC carving blah blah blah, blah. okay that's fine that's cool we don't need that but that's what that leads into if you happen to need that so you know where to go it's right here close this so that is that now the final thing that I want to get into for tonight which is really cool <clears throat> we go down here we're going to go to case library uh, I don't know if any of you guys have got the recent update from Snapmaker or not, but they have put the rotary tool on pre-order. So, that being said, we're going to get into our case library, and here is the original files. We have our 3D printer, our laser cut gift box, and our CNC cut smartphone holder. Okay, that's cool. Now we drop down because they have given us a whole new layer. And we have this. We have rotary laser engraved lion. So this is if you have a pre-existing round object that you want to have laser engraved that you can use the laser engraver with the rotary tool and this is really neat next up we have the rotary CNC carved chess piece and then here we have a four axis linkage CNC carved lion now we're gonna go through this real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna preview these so I'm gonna go to the laser engraver I am going to delete that and get that out of the way we're going to go here 
drop down and we're going to load this so looking at this we have our line here is our work piece which in the other page if we go back to edit you guys with your geometry, you got to uh, step it up a little bit here because you have to tell this thing exactly what you want done. You have to put these key factors in. You need your diameter, your length, and pi to figure all this out. Otherwise, it's not going to work right for you. But here it is. And then we have our processing modes down here, and I'm sure this will change up a little bit. You can make it darker. We have our, our black and white. We have our grayscale, our vectoring. Nice and light. I like that. That's clean looking. That's nice and clean. Let's see what the half tone looks like. Maybe not for this picture, but very cool idea nonetheless. So, okay, we're going to clear this out. I'm going to go back in and we're going to pick, let's see what is this? this, is the CNC carving tool. So I am going to have to change my tool here. We're going to load the chest piece. This is alpha feature. Yes, we are aware. Close. Oh, now that's sweet. That is sweet. I, you can tell what that is, but this is to engrave 3D on the surface. And this is it pulled out in flat dimensions. Now, you're not really going to see exactly what's going on here, but I'm pretty sure... All right, we're going to take this and go over to process real quick. And there it is. That's it loaded out. So the shading that you've seen was actually more or less... 3D dimensioning to make it easy, which I'm sure you can figure that out. Carving tool. Okay, now over here we can tell it exactly what we want. We want the carving V-bit. Do we want the flat end mill? Do we want the ball end mill or the straight groove V-bit? So also able to select your tooling. We have our slicing mode, which is rotation, step down, blah, 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 blah. Set all your feeds, your speeds, and so on and so forth over there. That's really cool. So we have that. I'm going to go and clear the bed again, come back over here, and I want to take a look and see exactly what this lion looks like. And that looks really weird. <laughs> that looks really weird. But again, okay, set up our length, our diameter, all our dimensioning, our geometrics over here. Come back here, let's put it into process, see what we get. Waiting, waiting. This one must be a little more complicated than the last one. Could definitely make out the shield and the paws. The face in the middle is kind of weird looking, but... Or you guys, you guys can add some of that you haven't been waiting for this to come. I, I thought initially it was going to be part of the initial Snapmaker uh, kit up front. Uh, it was not. I'm not going to lie. I was highly disappointed at that point in time. But now it is coming out. It is available for pre-order. Um, I have the specs on that for pricing and everything like that in the description. So make sure you check that out. This is almost loaded. About four seconds left. And that didn't really show us anything. So we go like that. Aha. Okay. So what we're looking at right here is this flat plane is going to be the radius of whatever it is that you want to machine this on. All this stuff on the back side right here doesn't matter because that's just tool patterns that have ran through the back. What we're actually looking at is 
the lion. And they do not make this easy. And we lost the whole picture altogether. Go back to edit. Process. There it is. Okay. So you can kind of see just a little bit. They didn't in detail give too much of a picture of it. Again, all you're looking at right here is simply tooling paths. But that is the lion. So here we go as far as the new update for Snapmaker Luban 3.14.0 forward slash new. They have introduced and given us full geometric previews for the fourth axis of what is to come for the rotary tool. Uh, I don't know about you. I'm super geeked about this. I cannot wait for this to come out. I'm already, I already have mine ready to go. I cannot wait for this to come. I'll have several videos of this when it does become available and different things and ideas to do. But for right now, I just wanted to share this update with you. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Thumb FPV. Have a good one. I'll have another video up soon.